These are the five best maps I've never finished. As a builder in Fortnite, you get into so many different projects. You start one and then you get distracted by another. And sometimes you have these huge projects you spent dozens of hours on and you just never finish them. I have quite a few of these. Today, I'm gonna go through my top five favorite maps that I've never finished. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's first start with my Star Wars Cantina map. Okay, here we go. Here is my incomplete map. This is just the interior that I built for my video, but I would love to like build out all of Moss Eisley at some point. I know it would take a lot of work and I kind of built the exterior so that I could do it at some point. Like I would have to do a lot of touch up work on the exterior to make this work, but uh, let's go inside and take a look at this. Oh man, uh, this you can tell this is definitely rushed. I did not like optimize some of these walls. Now, so this is the thing with a lot of these like one hour challenges that I put on myself. There is so many like little things that are just not done super well. Like, and this is one one of those things this wall this is a pretty awesome view into this cantina i love these booths out here i think that is all like really done well in like relation to how it looks in star wars uh, i also really love the bar here the lights coming through is actually really cool and i bet if i use the new lighting feature this could be even cooler but uh for what i had this is actually not too bad there's definitely some z fighting happening here i don't love that okay, let's just fix that real quick here we go here we go no more z fighting this like round part here is really messy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this would be fun to come and like touch it up and maybe build out all of Moss Eisley. But I, I don't know, guys. Sounds like a lot of work. Okay, we're sticking with the Star Wars theme. Here is Cloud City. Let's jump into it. This was yet another like one hour build challenge. And let's take a look at it. Dang, guys, that is freaking cool. This is a really decent build for about an hour. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's this over here? Oh yeah, I forgot in that video. I kind of taught you guys how to do the circle trick. Yeah, so this is one of those ones where I feel like I should make a game mode around this or something. I could do like a plane battle where you're like fighting around and I could just place the clouds a little better or something. Thing. I have like an air royale. I don't know. This is a cool build, but when you get close, don't get too close. <laughs> so you start getting to look at this. There's a lot of mistakes. Actually, it's not too terrible. You can see the little spoke down here is not well placed. Oh my gosh. I would really have to play around with this to make sure it's more centered if I was going to make this like a playable map. Hey, that's not bad. That's a little bit of a better center right there. The city on the top, I would have to fill this in a little bit more, make it look a little bit more realistic because this is just, I threw in a bunch of the rockets. And like, look how junky this city is. It looks great from a distance. From back here for the screenshot, it looks very nice. But uh, up close, it looks really, really bad. So I probably have to like rebuild the entire city on top to make it look good if I was gonna make this a playable map. But if I just plop down a platform here, like for people to like observe, that would be just cool just to come and see it, right? I love the clouds, they look so good. Next is the OG skin BR Island. Now this one, I was building over a number of streams. I've probably spent, oh, I I don't know, 12 hours on this or so. The idea was to make a whole BR map where the points of interest were based on like different popular skins from the history of Fortnite. So like this is the Skull Troopers point of interest. I fully built out all of this. Now you can check out the memory. The memory is pretty high. I've only made like three or four points of interest and I was waiting for the Thermometer Island to come out so that I could make it bigger and have the memory kind of shared across the map. But I just never got back into it. I have so many other projects that I've uh, got working on that I just got distracted and I've never come back to this. this is a pretty cool point of interest. We got this like altar up here. The different like little houses for the Skull Troopers like citizens. This is like fully built out, fully decorated. You come into the Skull Troopers like big mansion. I mean, this is a cool point of interest. You can go down underneath into his dungeon crypt or whatever you want to call it. It's got all of the chests and everything. If you're upstairs, you can like check out his kitchen, his view from the back porch. Like this is really all thought through. I just never really got back to it. I probably should get back to this at some point. I know a lot of you guys are saying, build a BR island, build a BR island, but it's just tough to get back into it. This is the Black Knight's castle. So the Black Knight sits up here on his throne to take on all challengers. And he's got like this tall tower here. There's different ways you can approach the tower. This tower is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's all using basic things, but I am pretty proud with how this tower turned out. And then on the top here, you can like launch off to other points of 
of interest on the map. And then I built Bright Bomber's mansion over here. I think she would appreciate this mansion. It's much more futuristic using a lot of like the Mega Mall and the Neo Tilted pieces. She's got a pool on the top for her party. She's got her dance floor. I mean, there's all sorts of things going on here. Like this actually is a really cool, I mean, this table, it's got the light in the middle of it. That's awesome. Her bedroom could use some decoration, that's for sure. Maybe another chest in the corner or something. But yeah, I started building out her whole neighborhood here. Here's some other like neighbors, like modern houses. Looks pretty cool. And then I actually really love this canyon is so cool with all the Kevin the Cubes on it. Uh, I probably should finish this map at some point, guys. It's just gonna be so much more work. I would definitely have to transfer everything over to like a thermometer island for this to really work properly. I don't know. Okay, now let's go into the Predator jungle. I made this one when the Predator skin came out. This is really one of the first maps I was doing when I was just like, oh, maybe I should make maps for the new skins that come out. And this is kind of recreating a scene from Predator where it's just like this river and this jungle around it. And it looks really awesome just from this angle. But if you look anywhere else, ah, it's just a mess. Like you come out here, it is fully incomplete. Like I think it could be cool to make out like a whole jungle or like a big furry for all map or something. It's just a giant jungle with ways you can parkour around and like fight each other. But it would take so much optimization and I'd have to build out quite a bit of terrain. Right now, none of this terrain is optimized for like playability. Like you can get stuck in a lot of spots and like it's just hard to like maneuver. Oh, and I forgot I had to like throw out the agency back then to get the water that I wanted. Now, luckily, it's actually in the cube gallery, but uh, yeah, so I don't know about this project. And finally, for the biggest map that I've worked on that is incomplete and I've spent literally like, I don't know, 50, 60 hours on this map is my Skyrim White Run map. Oh, <laughs> there it is from above. Man, I've put so much work into this. Some of you may remember the streams when I was working on it. I just, I don't know, once again, got distracted and I haven't been able to get back to it. But if you've never played Skyrim, this is actually a pretty good recreation. I've done almost the entirety of the lower city except for right over here. I never finished these like poor houses. But we've got like the river running through the city, like the guard house here, and then these houses, guys. These houses are super detailed. Like, look at all these extra accent pieces I put on it. Like this house by itself took me four hours to make. Like it took a long time to build all of these houses. Like, I think I could do this a lot quicker than I did back then. My skills as a builder have increased since I built this and doing all of the roads and like the different terrain leading up to it so that it works all like hand in hand. This took a ton of work. I just haven't gotten back to it. I have got to finish this. I mean, uh, I still probably is gonna take another 20 hours or so to finish this. Here's the main part of the city with the tree in the middle. You got like the pergola going on here. That took a while to make as well. This whole like circle the center. You got like the waterfalls in it. This building here actually didn't take too long, but I think it still looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, this terrain is awful. Ugh, I need to fix that. I even had a five walnut come in to like start some of these sculptures and he was doing such a good job. He just didn't get a chance to finish it. This building took almost four hours to make by itself and it's still incomplete too. Ugh. And then this guys, the castle is actually super legit. Like, this looks so good. There's a lot of details on this. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a copy of it down here and go and run around it. Man, this is a cool castle. But there's so many like different parts to it with like, oh my gosh, look at all of these accents. The back of the castle has this round part. Oh, it's actually really cool. Kind of my goal with this map was to have like a big exploration in the city and maybe you go up to the castle and there's like a note there that says, oh, there's a curse placed on Skyrim or Whiterun or whatever. And you need to explore the city to find all of the weapons that you need. And then there was gonna be like a crypt or something that you go down deep into a dungeon and fight off all of the zombies and get the cure to the curse or something. It's gonna be a playable zombie map with like a bunch of parkour where you can park around, core around the city. But uh, man, I just have not finished this. I really need to finish this. But this looks pretty cool from different angles, like looking up at the castle. Uh, yeah, this is a cool map. I don't know guys, which one of these maps do you think I need to go in and finish? If I had to just choose one, I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I will. Maybe I will.